What is going on guys, Joel here, and today we'll be taking a look at Control Center in iOS 7. Now Control Center is a new feature included in iOS 7, and it allows you to get quick access to controls and apps from anywhere on your screen. So to activate Control Center, we simply swipe up from the bottom of the screen, and we have access to various toggles to turn on and off. We got sliders to adjust different things, and we have app icons at the very bottom. So taking a closer look at Control Center, we have our toggles up top. So we can turn on and off things like airplane mode. We also have our Wi-Fi toggle and turn on and off Bluetooth. And we have our do not disturb feature as well. And I don't believe in iOS 7 right now it is working well, the do not disturb feature. But of course this is just the first beta. And also we have screen rotation lock right there. Now below our toggles, we have our slider for our brightness. So we can actually set our brightness directly from control center, which is always great. And below that we have our music controls. So we can go ahead and press play here. And above the uh, controls for your music, we are able to actually see where exactly the song is playing at. And right below the controls, we have our volume slider. And we do see we have our song title along with our artist. And looking down below that, we have our airdrop feature, which is a new feature included in iOS 7 that allows you to connect to other devices around you and send over photos and things like that. Now, I haven't got a chance to try this out yet as I only have iOS 7 on this iPod Touch 5th gen. But hopefully in the future, I'll be able to give you a demo. But next to that, we have AirPlay and that simply allows you to mirror your device to your Apple TV. So looking at the bottom of Control Center, we have our app icons. So here we'll be able to simply tap on the application. For instance, here is a clock app, and then it will direct me to that application, which is always handy if you want to use the clocks application. Now simply swiping up, we have access to our calculator as well. And swiping up again, we have our camera application. Now you notice that Control Center actually changes colors and it blends in with whatever application you open it in. So as you see here, we have a transparent background, which is cool. But not only are you able to access Control Center from any application, you're able to access it directly from your lock screen. So simply if you need to turn something on or off or maybe change the brightness, you can do that directly from your lock screen as you see here. So right now I'm actually running iOS 7 on my iPod Touch 5th generation, the 16 gig, which doesn't have a camera or a flash in the back. But if you do have a device that has a flash on it, you'll be able to access that flash and use it as a flashlight. There'll be a little icon on the bottom left. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for Control Center on iOS. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see on iOS, what type of video you maybe want me to make for you guys. And also go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video. Not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And if you're not following me yet on any of my social networks, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff, links will be down below. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos, including more future iOS 7 videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. Alright? Peace!